Hi, my name is Mitchell Bazina. I'm a Director of Product Marketing at Palatine Networks. Today, we're going to run through a short demonstration of Cortex XDR. We've got network data coming from our next generation firewall. That is combined with traps data or telemetry coming out of the endpoint. This, of course, is stored in the Cortex data lake, where we're automatically stitching together the data from, in this particular scenario, network and endpoint. On top of that, we're applying machine learning, which enables the detection, investigation, and response to be simplified by Cortex-XDR. Through this scenario, the machine learning engine has profiled user and device activity to identify a threat. That threat is a large upload that's been detected. We'll walk through, analyze that large upload, perform a root cause analysis, and then hunt for similar threats within the network. From there, will reduce the risk of future threats by simplifying the investigation process going forward and detect future activity. Let's get started. So we're going to start on the alert screen. This is the primary screen for alert triage and incident investigation. Here we consolidate and provide all the Palatine Network's products alerts. Each alert is enriched by all data and we can single click each alert to investigate. So we'll choose the analytics alert, which has detected a large upload of medium severity. As we start to investigate the large upload, we see some information provided from both network and endpoint data. The large upload was approximately 2.3 gigabyte. The next-gen firewall identified the app doing the upload as an FTP application. This is, of course, very interesting from a specific user within the network. Stitching together endpoint data, we can actually see the executable responsible for that upload was WinSCP, or Windows Secure Copy, which is an application that can transfer files between computers. The green indicates that WinSCP is benign by wildfire. And of course, we have a diagram that displays the upload. So let's have a look what Cortex XDR suggests we should actually do. It tells us to verify the domain, look at the affected user, and understand if they committed this actual activity. It also tells us to go and look at different instances of WinSCP throughout the environment. So let's do exactly that. First, let's check out the network data. With the network data, again, stitched to the endpoint information, we can actually see if data has been sent out of the network. With endpoint information only, we only know if the data has left the individual device. So as we scroll right, we can actually see the host name and the computer, as well as the URL that the information went to, and of course, a log of the data sent. So with that, we know it was an FTP application, and we can actually see the 2.4 gig or 2.3 gig upload, and it was actually received on the other end. This large upload actually made it out of the environment and could be a risk to the company. Let's dive deeper and understand what actually happened with WinSCP. Cortex XDR provides us a full picture of what happened on the endpoint. It automatically identified the root cause for us, being Explorer++. Explorer++ is an alternative file manager. It's directed us towards WinSCP, which we know did the, the large upload. Of course, with this, we have additional detail. The detail down the bottom of the screen effectively tells us what wildfire scored this executable to be, and we know all these executions or these executables are benign. So now I have to dive deeper into the forensic detail to determine what happened. But Cortex-XDR simplifies this information for us. Jumping down the bottom into the file information, we can actually see that there was a zip file that was uploaded. And that zip file is data.zip. The next jump is pretty intuitive. We know a zip file was created, so let's jump to 7-zip. When we click on 7-zip, the detail changes. Of course, it's related to this particular process. We see that there was 7-zip accessing a specific file server and a specific data share. Now, in order to determine what happened, I can dive into the forensic detail. But Cortex-XDR has provided an additional tab in this detail. It's the Alerts tab. The Alerts tab summarizes all of the alerts that match against this process and the activity this process executes. Here we see an informational behavioral indicator of compromise, or a custom rule, that's been created by the security team. And they note to the analysts that this particular process, 7-zip, has accessed documents on a sensitive data share and that sensitive data share has board files. If we like, we can actually dive a little deeper at the individual files themselves and see what was packaged inside of that zip. Looking through the files, 
we can see some XDR screen designs, which of course is interesting, some detection mechanisms, and some different marketing collateral, as well as roadmap and strategy. So this is definitely sensitive data, and this is us performing a damage assessment. At this point, we know this alert is in fact very severe, and we need to take secondary steps in order to contain the event and ensure nothing happens in the future. Cortex XDR gives us the ability to respond or react on both network and endpoint. Here we'll choose the endpoint information and we'll isolate the individual host. That allows us to do a deeper investigation if we need to, but also cordon off that user from conducting any other malicious activity. Now that we've contained the incident, we could stop here. But why not take what we've learned and apply it forward? We could check out who else is accessing this share or look for other malicious insiders. But let's focus on WinSCP and find out how common it is to use file transfer or FTP applications within the organization. Here we can choose from process, file, network, registry, or we can go for all actions. Of course, what we're looking for is a process that's running. We simply enter the name of the process and any alternative applications that we might be looking for. In this case, we're looking for FileZilla, PuTTY, and of course, WinSCP. We're just gonna hit run, and we're gonna run it over the last month of data. We found quite a few hits on this search, but all the hits WinSCP are on the same host we just investigated and around the same time frame, indicating it was probably from the same event. So this is not common to the enterprise, and we should apply it forward. And this allows us to share the knowledge with other analysts or of course provide that alert. We're gonna give this rule or alert a name and we'll give this name use or execution of FTP file sharing applications. We're gonna mark it as an alert. We're gonna give it a severity of low and we're gonna select the type of event that it is. And this of course is an execution event. And finally, we can leave a comment for the analyst telling them to do a further investigation if they see any use of these types of application or this alerts hit. We can hit OK to save this and add it to the existing rules that have come out of the actual tool itself or been created by the security team. As you've seen this very brief demo, Cortex XDR is the only product to transform security operations holistically by offering three distinct advantages. Firstly, automatic stitching and pre-compute of data across multiple sources to accelerate and simplify investigations for the whole security team. Two, it applies AI and machine learning across network, endpoint, and cloud data to automatically detect sophisticated, external, and insider threats. Lastly, it integrates with enforcement points to coordinate response, improve prevention, and keep your organization safe. For more information, please visit palotonetworks.com or reach out to your Palo Networks representative.